come back we're going to do row 2b i shift my marker you see 2b here there was no turning your work here so we stay here we still work in the back of the work it's row number two the color is b means it's the white yarn i use now there's nothing to do here because we don't see it and we see the little pattern here it's an esb so what is an inside stitch back i will show you it's already there because we change four and we hanged our yarn at the back of our work in the previous when we were working in the blue see when we work in the blue we put that yarn behind the work so it's already made if you didn't made it and you mark your work here inside stitch back is just one two three four and make sure it's back behind the blue yarn now because we're working in the white yarn it's now behind the blue yarn and we're going to follow our pattern so we make our esb inside stitch yarn over because we're going to make two fronts which is front of the blue yarn so we're going over the blue yarn like skipping it get those two that is more than two two loops yarn through see i'm not touching the blue yarn at all just only in the white yarn yarn through finish your double crochet and because it's an f and interlocking immediately chain one that's it we're going to do the next stitch because we need to do two in the front again in front of your blue yarn get those two loops and make your f which is a double crochet and chain one now it says one in the back so yarn over we go behind that blue window here this blue window this one is covered this one is covered we go now behind the next blue window yarn over behind the blue window here behind the blue yarn and it says back so pick up those two loops here see and make your stitch there that's interlocking and finish it immediately with a chain one because it's not a normal dc it's a b and then we do three in the front which is fairly easy We're going again in the front of the blue yarn in front of it and do one in front of the blue yarn again we do two And the next one three we did three in the front again it tells us to do one in the back yarn over we're going to the next window see it's automatically already shown we stay horizontal or vertical we stay on the same lines each time so you're not going diagonal here now you go to the next one you go through that window see really true it's not touching it you get those two loops here pull them to the back because it's behind the blue yarn see now i'm working behind the blue yarn and i'm making my double crochet and chain one immediately and you see it's not touching the blue it's getting through the blue see it's getting through it doesn't touch it it's interlocked that's why it's called interlocking fillet crochet it's interlocked okay yarn over we follow the pattern it's two in the front one and it's an f so immediately chain one again don't forget those chain one that makes your window and two two loops chain one and then it says inside stitch back and that means we're going again behind the blue yarn behind the blue yarn here pull it a little bit skip one and put it in the second one here try to get both loops which gives a more pretty effect than you will have no loop you can also just put it to the chain i do it put it mostly through a chain itself but now as an example i show you how you should do it officially and just skip one chain on that 
and finish with your inside stitch back and I immediately do three again three I do four even because it's double crochet chain one and I secure my work with a stitch marker now I will show you how it looks at the back it looks this at the back and this at the front what a difference isn't it this is fun and you see these little things where the blue yarn and the white yarn don't meet are called pockets sometimes it gets so big that you need to anchor them but that's for a next one this is not for now this is basic interlocking and this is basic interlocking no 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 anchoring no nothing no filled in window basic interlocking fillet crochet it's already pretty see you get immediately those windows you get immediately your pattern and with those little windows you can make nice patterns um, uh, and make easy a scarf or easy something uh, simple which is so nice because it has immediately that nice negative background okay at the end of the row you are not finished yet with row 2b because there's something here I will show sorry Mary you go away and it says turn your work again see so it's not for nothing we turn our work again immediately and I will turn it like this because so my yarn won't get mixed up and we are ready now for the next row which is 3a if you want to follow me click on the next link if you want to try it yourself Go ahead, but I will do all rows slowly and I hope clearly for you to explain. Thank you.